Public health officials are worried that they will see a spike in COVID-19 cases following the holiday weekend due to anticipated gatherings. Elise Haas spoke with Multnomah County's public health officer to find out how you can best celebrate safely. And Elise, what are her concerns? Well, the thing is, Jenny, you know, she did want me to mention that Oregon's stay-at-home order was very effective in controlling the cases. But now, as we've been moving into spring and summer, she realizes that people want to get back to something that resembles life. So as state officials have slowly started reopening the counties, why she is now concerned is that people have started to kind of interpret that as if we are in the clear, which she says just isn't so. And Cases of COVID-19 have gone up, so she says this is as people are letting down their guard, reconnecting with friends, and widening their social circles. We know it spreads easily from person to person, and unfortunately, we're seeing that now. We're seeing an increase in not only cases locally, but also uh, an increase in hospitalizations that we're starting to watch very carefully, especially as we head into the July 4th weekend when we know that people are going to want to socialize. During the 4th of July celebrations, public health officials are emphasizing to keep it local. Maintain six feet distance at gatherings. Limit it to people within your household or the few people who you've already been in contact with. They say it's better to have gatherings outside and to absolutely wear a mask. And so she says at this point, this is not the time for us to really be going out and reconnecting with friends that we haven't seen in months. And she says it's definitely not the time to go out and mix and mingle with strangers. If everyone can do their part by keeping their 4th of July gatherings small and local, she says this could help us avoid hundreds of more cases and tens of hospitalizations in the next couple of weeks. Reporting live, Elise Haas, Quinn 6 News.